Hi, this is a tutorial on how to end step a slash lag switch on Rust. This tutorial will let you still be connected to things like TeamSpeak and crap like that. Um, instead of blocking the Rust ports, it's actually just going to block Firefox uh, or Chrome or whatever for the time being. Uh, in the description is a program that you're going to want to have open to use the hotkeys for this. So first what you're going to want to do is open Windows Firewall. So Windows Firewall with advanced security. Um, I'm not sure which OS's this will work in. I'm using Windows 7, so there you go with that. Uh, go into Outbound Rules, and what you're gonna actually first what you're gonna do press your Windows key and then press R, and then in here type services.msc. Okay, and this is gonna be enabling Windows Firewall because a lot of people have this disabled because it's a piece of shit but for this tutorial we're going to actually use it so this is going to pop up you know, scroll down to windows and then windows firewall and you want to enable it just by right clicking start um, if it's not if it won't let you enable it go to properties and turn startup type to manual or automatic and it'll probably let you enable it then. If not, you could look up on Google, you know, how to enable Windows Firewall. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click New Rule, Program, This Program Path, and for Firefox, you're going to go C, Program Files, or whichever drive, Mozilla Firefox, and you're going to use PluginContainer.exe. Okay, and then for Google Chrome, uh, you're going to use <coughs> C program files, <coughs> Google Chrome application, chrome.exe. But I use Firefox just for Rust because it seems to run a little better. Next, you're going to click Next. Block the connection. Profile, you can have all those selected. And just name it Rust. <coughs> Now, delete the old one. Um, you'll have the Rust one here. And as you can see, right now it's blocking it. Like, I can't open doors or anything up in these fires. So, we're going to re enable it. Or disable it, sorry. And then now we're going to be able to open stuff again. And, you know, do stuff. But what you want to do is have a hotkey for it. So if you go in the description, you can download my little program, which basically just re-enables enables the Rust named firewall rule. So make sure you have this named Rust or else it won't work. And what you're going to do is you're going to press F2. Here, let's have this in the screen so you can see it get enabled. Oh, I guess you're not going to be able to see. F2 will enable it. And then you just click on Rust again. You can shoot people up or whatever. And as you can see, there you go. Um, can't open anything. F3 will re enable it. And as you can see, I started getting spammed in the chat, shit like that. And there you go. That's how you do this uh, with real, real ease. And while disconnected, you can shoot people in the head and stuff and end step. I really wouldn't recommend it. It's kind of a prick move, but this is a tutorial on how to do it so that it gets fixed. So there you go. And with this method, you can dupe. So disconnect using F2, split your whatever it is, move it into the next slot, split again, move it into the next slot, split again, move it into the next slot, so on. F3 reconnect. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then now I'll have a bunch of stuff. I have a better duping tutorial on my profile, which you can go check out, but that's basically it. Um, yeah.